Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Kemal Nasir, who is the Satellite Coordination Manager for the Bank Rakyat in Indonesia. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for this opportunity to interview me. So why is the World Radio Communication Conference an important event in your calendar? I've been appointed as uh, Asia Pacific Telecommunication Region or APT as representative to be a coordinator for specific agenda item. And also by my country, I was tasked to defend some certain spectrum right. So I've been hoping to many agenda item to see what happens there and to see what what countries are in the views of them. You mentioned spectrum rights. What, what are yes. the ones that are particularly of importance to Indonesia? Financial institution Bank Rakyat Indonesia or BRI is taxed by the country. We are a state-owned enterprise owned by the country, major, the major share. So we've been serving people all of the archipelago. Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the earth with 17,000 island and we've been the one to serve all of these people in the rural area and the remote islands. What is the connectivity situation like in Indonesia? What are the, what are the uh, greatest challenges facing Indonesia at the moment? Yeah, for the greatest challenges, the fiber optic is not reaching in the rural island and also the terrestrial network is also don't work here. We only have a satellite. So that's why BRI is the only one bank and also a satellite operator. That's what because satellite is the only means for us to reach those people. And what about digital financial inclusion? What is the situation like for, for people trying to get connected, trying to do online banking, uh, online banking transactions in Indonesia? Yeah. That's basically one of our big mission because around 16, 60 million people is still not bankable right now in Indonesia. So we are reaching them by using people reaching all of the village using satellite means device to get them to the financial transaction so they can connect to the rest of the world. What kind of devices are being used for this? Just a, a satellite phones? Uh, usually they deploy some site with VZ antenna and then connect to the Wi-Fi. And we are having around 100,000 agents around the country to make these people bankable. Has satellite broadband come down in price? for you I mean, in terms of uh, the affordability? Is it a much better situation nowadays? Not right now we are having some traditional satellite, but in the future we consider to, to move digitally so we can use much broadband technologies to make these people connected. And what about cash? Is cash still very much king in, in Indonesia in terms of financial transactions? Uh, yes, basically, especially in the rural areas. And there are no ATMs except ours. Our officer cannot visit those ATMs often, so they, they are still using cash as a means to trade daily. What about the conversations that you've been hearing here? What are the, uh, the most uh, interesting things that you have heard while you've been here over the last few weeks? Uh, the first... Uh, I've been happy to look at some agenda items to have satellite have more spectrum for broadband and also the developing technologies like eSIM, more advanced IMT. Uh, we can also use this technology to reach our people, so it's a good thing for us. So do you see the future of connectivity in the region as a balance between 5G and satellite connectivity? In, the, in this time being, the 4G is only deployed on some big cities and not to the full area. So I'm having doubt in the 5G. It will be the same story like 4G or 3G. Yeah. So it will be for a limited part of the, the population. So at the moment, yes. 
the uh, 3G is, is much more pervasive than, uh, than, than any other communications in terms, I'm talking about mobile telephony. Yeah. And 4G is available in major cities and yeah. conurbations. Yeah. When, when they are 4G or 3G, we are not using our satellites, so we are using this operator, the cellular operator. Right. Yeah. And uh, finally, what do you hope will be the outcomes from WRC19? What would you like to go home knowing that this is definitely uh, been agreed? We are looking at some new technologies that, that will go down in price per gigabyte and have some regulatories for us to use all of those technology. And also, as a satellite operator, it's important for us to be keep updated about the regulation. Well, we're very glad to have you here at WRC19 and, and here in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us indeed today. Come yeah. on, here. Thank you. Thank you, ITU and Ajib, for hosting this wonderful event. Thank, Thank you. you very much.